watching. Now, recently I asked you guys what you want to see on the channel, and so many of you said more gum paste flowers. Now, you guys know I love creating gum paste flowers, and one type of flower that's really useful is a filler flower. This means that you can create larger flowers and fill up any of those gaps around it. So, in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really pretty, delicate lilac flowers. Now, these are great on their own in little sprays like this, but they are perfect to add between larger flowers as filler flowers. And the best thing is they are super easy to make. So, let's get started. The things that you're gonna need is, first of all, I've got some gum paste. This one in particular is the Squires Floral Paste. Now, I've colored some in yellow, just using the Color Splash Sunflower Yellow. I've also got a slightly larger amount in this pretty lilac color. And for this, I used the Color Splash Violet with a tiny bit of the Color Splash Pale Pink. I've then got this small pair of scissors that I love to use for creating flowers or if you've got a small pair of nail scissors. I've got some edible glue and some 24 gauge wire. Now this wire is already covered with some green floral tape and I've cut this down into lengths of around two to three inches. I've got my craft knife and my ball tool. So we just want the smaller end of the bottle. I've then got some dusting colors to add a little bit of depth to my flowers. So these ones are by Sugar Flare and I've got a violet and an African violet. And I'll just be applying these to my flowers with a small paintbrush. Now a few other things that are just really useful to have is just a sandwich bag or an airtight container just for popping our gum paste inside whilst we're not using it so that it doesn't dry out. Also I've just got a dummy cake for holding my flowers flowers as I make them just to allow them to sit in the dummy cake and dry. Okay now there are three stages to a lilac flower. First of all you have the flower bud, you then have the bud that is slowly starting to open and you have the flower that has fully opened. So I'm going to start with a flower bud. Now these are quite tiny little flowers. Start with a ball of my gum paste or floral paste which is around four to five millimeters in diameter and you just want to roll that into a ball. You then want to taper down one side just by pushing on that side to give you a teardrop shape. I've then got some edible glue and one piece of my wire so I'm going to dip the end of that wire into my edible glue. I'm then going to push this into that teardrop shape just going in to the point at the end. You then want to roll this between your thumb and finger just to stick that gum paste onto that wire. Now I want my gum paste to blend onto that stick so once I've started rolling it down what I usually do is just pull off a small amount from the end and just continue to wind this. So what you want it to look like is a little bit like a small balloon just on the end of your wire. Now, in order to make this look like a bud, we wanna add some lines in. Now, lilac flowers always have four petals, so I wanna add four lines. So I'm gonna take the back part of my craft knife, so it's a little bit thicker than that blade, and I'm gonna start just by pushing in on one side. You wanna bring this all the way over the top and come down on the other side. You then want to divide this the other way, so you're dividing it into quarters. So this is going to give us our tiny little flower bud. You can then pop your wire into your dummy cake just to allow that to dry. Now in order to create our flowers that are fully open and our buds that are just starting to open, it's a very similar technique. So I'm going to start with the fully opened flower. So again we want to take a small ball of our gum paste and just taper this down into our teardrop shape. Now instead of adding this onto our wire to start with, I'm just going to hold that point between my finger and my thumb. I'm then going to take my little scissors and just push this into the center of my flower. Now I only want to go in around two to three millimeters and I'm going to just create a little snip. I'm then going to do this on the other side. So I've cut the top of 
that teardrop shape directly in half. I then want to do exactly the same, just cutting this into equal quarters. Now, using your small bottle, I'm going to stretch out these petals but pushing them against my finger. Now, if you do have quite warm hands, you could just dust your finger just with a little bit of corn flour to stop that sticking. I'm going to take my small bottle and I'm just going to push up on my first petal. So I'm just pushing up in the center and this is gonna create the rounded top of our petal. So we're thinning it out, but by just going up in the center, we're keeping it slightly wider on the edges. I'm then gonna pull down just to create a little bit of shape on our petal. And you wanna do this for all four petals. So I'm going up until I've got a nice rounded shape on the top, and then just pulling down. You then wanna pull all of those petals outwards. Now you can either leave them with the rounded edges, or some varieties of lilac flowers have a slight point, so you can just pinch the end slightly. Take my wire and dip the end in my edible glue. Now I'm gonna turn this round and the end that doesn't have the glue, I'm gonna push this through the center so it comes out the bottom of that point. And I'm just gonna pull it through until we can just see that tip start to disappear. Again, just like we did with the bud, I'm gonna to start to wind this down that wire. And again, you can pull off any excess just to thin that out. I'm then gonna bring in my dummy cake and just pop that so it's secure. We then wanna create a little bit of pollen in the center of our flower. So I've got a really teeny tiny ball of that white gum paste. I'm gonna drop this into the center of my flower and you can use a dressing tool or just the end of one of your pieces of wire and just push down the edges so it becomes part of the flower. So there we have our first open lilac. In order to create my third style of lilac, which is a bud that has just started to open, again, I'm gonna create a teardrop shape, cut that into four pieces. And just as I did with the open lilac, I'm just gonna start to stretch out those petals. Now, instead of pulling them open, I'm gonna keep them quite closed take my wire, pop it into my edible glue. I can then start to roll that onto my wire. Now I wanna add the yellow dot in the center. So I'm just gonna pop that into my dummy cake to hold that still. I'm gonna take those four petals and instead of opening them out, I'm just gonna close them back up so they all meet in the center. So that's gonna give you your bud that is just starting to open. You can then make a whole variety of your flowers and you just wanna leave them to dry. Now, once they're dry, the next thing you wanna do is add a little bit more color to bring them to life. So for this, I've got my tins. So I've got a really small amount of violet and some of that African violet. Use a small paintbrush, just blending the two colors together. And on the flower buds, I'm just gonna run that color up those lines that we created just really highlighting the shape of our flower bud. On those flower buds that have just started to open, I'm just gonna add some of that color just onto the edges of those petals. And on the ones that are fully open, I'm just gonna run some of that color just on those outside edges as no flower is ever just one color. So it's just adding a little bit of variety onto those petals, just making them look a little bit more natural. Once all of those flowers have been colored, you then have really pretty flowers. So we've got the buds, the buds that are slightly opening and those fully opened flowers. Now, if you did want to create a little spray of lilacs, then what tends to happen is, first of all, you would have the little buds at the top and you'd have a few of those flowers that are just starting to open up. We then wanna start adding in some of our larger flowers. So I'm gonna take those flowers and just 
bend those slightly at around a 45 degree angle before popping those in. Just slotting them all together. So you just want to start with a point at the top, just bring it out slightly wider as we go down. Now, if you are creating a little spray, once you're happy with how that's looking, you can take some floral tape and just wet in the end to activate that gum. You can just tighten those together. So here we have these really pretty lilac flowers that can be used either on their own or added in between gaps around larger flowers. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use it if you want to make your own lilacs. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Balloons YouTube channel. Also, let me know in the comments below, is there a gum paste flower you would like to see me make next? So, until next time, bye!